what is pivot table pivot table is an interactive way to quickly summarize the large amount of data to get the insight from the data let's say this is the data set you want to get which segment giving the highest sales or which subcategories giving the highest sales from which regions higher sales or higher profits are coming you can quickly summarize that using the pivot table let's jump into the excel and learn about the pivot table before we create pivot table make sure each column has the headers no empty column or rows are there in your data sets and no total and subtotal rows should be there so you need to get rid of all of this before creating any pivot table go to insert you see pivot table and recommended pivot table. if you click on recommended pivot table excel is smart it's automatically giving you lots of pivot table sum of sales region wise city wise country wise etc etc you want to create your own pivot table go to this pivot table you see it's all automatically taken the range of data but what's the problem of taking range of data it's fixed if you add another range it don't automatically take so before creating pivot table we need to convert this data into a table okay so how to convert click anywhere in the data control t you see it's already taken that data click on ok now change the table name sample superstore click on ok now if you want to create pivot table you can create create another sheet you want to get pivot table in another worksheet so we that's why we create another sheet so where you want to pivot tables so click there go to insert pivot table now give table range sample superstore and location is this click on ok you see pivot table fields come in pivot table fields you can see only these column headers and these fields these column headers you can drag and drop and create the pivot table you want to change the settings the way it looks you want this way you can create or previous way you can create this way i prefer so you can change as you like let's we want to create pivot table region wise sales we want to get so click on region drag in rows and sales click sales drag in values you see just with few button clicks you can create pivot table region wise sales you want to change this name row label go to this formula panel write region instead of sum of cell you want to change the name where to change come to this value click on here value fill settings here change total cells click on ok you want to sort this data from higher to lower number click here right mouse click go to the sort sort largest to smallest you see from western east europe larger sales are coming in this way you can sort the data you can sort the number formatting also so right click on here you see format sales and number formatting click on number formatting go to currency here currency instead of rupees you can give any currency as you like from india i am giving rupees and i don't want decimal points so make it zero click on ok you see easily you can format these numbers let's say you want to add another pivot table so how to do it two ways to do it click where you want again go to this insert and pivot table the previous we did it or another way is to copy that previously created pivot table control c control v now what's the benefit of this is you get all the formatting you did previously okay now from 
instead of regions I want segment wise cell in this way you can create another pivot table segment wise cells but not just total cells I want to get percentage of total cells each segment wise so how to do it again go to sales create another sales sum of sales column click on here go to value field settings in value field settings you see summarize values by or so values as here in so values as instead of no calculation give percentage of grand total click on ok you see here percentage of grand total you get 51.48 percent of sales coming from consumer segment majority of sales are coming from in this way you can change you want to change average of sales the same way drag and drop sum of sales go to value field settings here in summarize value as instead of sum give average click on ok you see average of segment wise sales also come in this way you can change the aggregate values also let's add another pivot table here copy that previous pivot table control c control v here instead of regions i want category and subcategory okay drag and category under that we want subcategory two layers little drop down you get furniture click here it will minimize and you want to maximize click there you can maximize if you don't want this button how to do it go to pivot table analyze tab you see here button click here that button is no longer there if you don't want any subtotals how to do it click on that pivot table go to the design sections in subtotal do not show any subtotal you see there is no subtotal you don't want to see grand total either so go to grand total of rows and columns you see there is no grand total just only value you see there is no pivot table fields is there how to get that pivot table fields again go to pivot table analyze here field list you see click on here you see again pivot table list so you can bring that again sometimes you want to know the details how from western europe total sales is this amount if you want to know the details from the pivot table so go to the data and double click on it as soon as you double click on it you see once it added before that pivot table set and here all the data sets will be given where the region is western europe and if you select the sales column you can see the sum you see the sum the sum is the same as the sum in pivot table so if you want to see the record by record want to see the details how this western europe sales is total sales is this much just double click on it you will get it easily let's create another pivot table subcategory wise sales we want to get go to insert pivot table table range is sample superstore click on ok here also same field you see we want now subcategory wise sales rows is subcategory sales is value but we want to apply a filter here it's segment wise sales we want to apply so in filter give segment here you can see all the segment consumer segment corporate segments and home segment let's select multi select we only want subcategory sales for consumer segment so just create consumer click on ok you see all the data sets changes only all those subcategory we are getting where segment is consumer let's see consumer and corporate both we want to get click on ok we see data set changes again in this way you can apply filters you want to insert a slicer here also so let's get rid of this filter want to insert a slicer 
here slice are same way we want segment click on ok this we want to get only home office as the data sets changes want to get corporate only where segment is corporate we are getting all the subcategory or cell there is multiple pivot table how to connect this slicer to multiple pivot table how to do it let's copy that pivot table control c control v create another pivot table now we want to connect the same slicer to this pivot table also list of subcategory and to get category wise cell let's keep category category wise sales to connect this slicer to this pivot table how to do it click on this pivot table go to pivot table analyze you see here filter connection is there in filter connection segment automatically taken click on ok this slicer is automatically connected to this pivot table also let's check it let's click on consumer you see data sets changes let's click on home office data sets already changes in this way you can connect slicer to multiple pivot tables also let's say you want to get data sets in different pages each segment wise how to do it put segment in filters let's go to pivot table analyze in option you see show report filter page okay create click on ok you see segment wise we want to show the report click on ok it creates three pages consumer corporate and home office because in segment there is three segments are there that's why it create each worksheets for each segment it you want to get pivot table in a tabular form how to do it category subcategory and in value we will give sales here it's not in tabular form how to make it tabular form click anywhere in that table go to design in report layout this is so in tabular form click on ok now you can see that data in tabular form category subcategory and sum of sales you don't want grand total again click anywhere go to this design grand total make it off for rows and column in subtotal also make it do not show subtotals grand totals off for rows and columns there is no longer grand total and no longer subtotals and you you don't want to see these buttons also so again click anywhere in the table go to pivot table analyze click on this button there is no longer buttons in this way you can create tabular pivot tables also so i hope you learn about the pivot table from this video practice it input more data sets create more and more pivot tables it's easier